Hi, I am Venkatesh Subbaiya. I take care of uh, performance marketing division here at FTA Global. Today we are going to talk about uh, you know the dynamic landing page optimization tool and how it helps in your performance marketing campaign. And I'm going to answer lots of your queries and uh, you know the demo how we can help you guys to grow on improving your campaign CTRs, quality score, and eventually it will help in the conversion rate. I hope you enjoy this session. See, uh, we consulted uh, lots of B two B accounts. We studied, uh, you know, their landing pages, the conversion rate optimizations, and everything. So one bottleneck, or you know, every account, one or other account, what we observed is right. So there is a mismatch between the. copies and the landing pages and you know because if you are targeting certain audience right say for example vp you need to be show different communication other designations you need to show different communication so most of the brands what they do is you know they focus only on static communication in the landing page they directly take them to the demo sections you know because some of the high level designation they want to see different copy communication right so that's where the failure of lots of b2b campaigns what we observe because the precision is missing right so your copies should match with keywords keywords match with the landing page what you are talking right otherwise you may get lots of high bounce rate people may not see the benefit of the landing page right they may just bounce off you know you won't get any results so it's actually both side benefit one is your performance marketer side you know they get proper quality score right your copy is matching with the landing page without changing any multiple landing pages you no need say you know 10 different urls 10 different landing pages one single static page you know you are just changing based on the user searches right so that is on the performance marketing side and the other brand side what benefits they get is right so they get lots of dynamic content values right say for example the it's matching we call it as icp fit lead icp fit means nothing but yes the audience is looking for your product they finalized to demo right so the icp fit lead is the main challenge lots of b2b you know uh, organizations fail right so now fta for fta clients internal tool we developed dynamic landing page optimization this we tested you know few internal accounts even our fta page itself we tested and we are seeing better click through rates mainly we measure certain metrics in ads right the ctr and the you know conversion rate the engagement rate in google analytics what we are using is we are using simple utm parameters from there we are recommending the you know engine that look if person from healthcare industry visiting from the healthcare industry show this page or if anyone searching for this particular ad group keyword right show this particular page right so we are using the dynamic landing page optimization with utm parameters and it's very simple technology not heavy loading time you nothing to worry about load time or other side you don't need anything just simple utm parameters you need to pass and certain css selectors html selectors you need to select so that the page will automatically change this is your dashboard when you know you just click here Uh, you are client A, client B, client C. You know multiple projects you can add here, right? This is our simple dashboard. Once you log into the console, what we need to do first is we just need to click and install this, uh, you know, simple script into your head section because we want to track the entire, uh, you know, uh, pages, right? You say, for example, if you want to optimize your add to cart page or you know any uh, lead generation page, right? so you can uh, that's the reason actually we are recommending to implement the script in the head section right and also we have another option available just go to gtm google tag manager and just in install the script in custom tag section right so once install the stick that's why the recommended approach currently is to you know use the paste the code manually because we are using our own uh, you know cdn here so once the installation done just go here and verify the script here right say for example in fta global we already verified the script 
right? So if we can go to TA Global dot in, and uh, uh, you know you can just uh, click verify the script here. So once the script verified, so since it's a demo feature, uh, it may not be available. But you know uh, once the script verified, you will get here script verified option available, right? Once it will be appear here, right? So now this other uh, important thing is so every a project, right? Every domain you are adding, every what every time you are adding script, the site ID is unique, you know, for each domain, right? So the nine eight seven zero nine is unique for FTA Global. Similar way for you know if you are adding multiple domains, so you know that the site ID is very very unique, right? So once the script installed, right? So uh, what we need to do is we just need to create simple rule here, you know. The rule uh, is nothing but you know we are passing certain parameters. So when that parameter trigger in your URL main URL, right, the the changes will happen in the main website, right? Say for example, consider uh, this is our uh, you know landing page search engineering because we are uh, we have different uh, solutions here: demand labs, performance, creative tech, and FTA gigs, right? So consider this as a landing page, add landing page, right? So this is your top fold copy and this is your call to action and the changes, the old SEO playbook and uh, you know the entire scrolls, right? At least there are some four to five scrolls uh, available, right? So now I want to optimize my top fold copy, right? Say for example, I'm running different set of campaigns, one for uh, say BFSI, Another one for healthcare, another one for tech, another one for you know uh, D 2 C, like that. You are running multiple ad campaigns, right? Say for example, I want to change this particular uh, top fold copy, right, to say search engineering for uh, banking and finance sector, right? So what we need to do is we just need to you know uh, we just go to the UTM key. Let's create one UTM custom. And create one UTM value. Say, for example, my UTM value is, say, uh, banking and finance. This is my UTM value, right? And I am targeting search engineering page because I copied this URL here, search engineering page. So now, what we need to do is we just need to change this. So we are uh, telling the platform that, look, I want to change instead of search engineering for the AA era, I need to change this to search engineering for uh, the branding and the finance sector. So you need to identify the selector. Very simple option. You just need to identify the selector. You can see here when I highlight this, this particular uh, it's actually highlighted, right? Say the white linear max width, right? So what you need to do is you just need to copy the selector, right? You just need to copy the selector and go here and paste here, right? So now instead of, so we copied the selector and pasted here and instead of search engineering for the A era, what we need to do is look, I need to change this to uh, for, uh, yeah, so this is for a demo purpose, the copies, uh, right? And we have multiple option available, text and HTML, right? So we are going to add image and multiple options as well here, dynamic elements. So the text, right? So now what we need is, so for example, I created this rule. So how this rule is matching? So when this URL is matching with UTM custom equal to banking and finance, and I selected this selector, and I want to replace with this text, right? What you need to do is just save this, right? So once you save this, you know, see we created multiple UTM key and UTM value, but you this will appear here, right? The UTM value and UTM key will appear here. What you need to do is just go to the you know page here. You just need to add right UTM custom equal to banking and because we passed that value right banking and finance because uh, right so this particular we just need to copy this uh, section right we just need to copy this go here and uh, uh, you know paste here right so once you do this what will happen is right. So you can see here the text changed, right? The top full text search engineering for the banking and finance sector. Similar way, if I want to change to call to action, say I want call to action button schedule a call instead of schedule a call to uh, say 
book a workshop right so you know say for example let's try this also uh, again this rule we are not going to create new rule we are going to edit this rule and again add selector adding this selector we copied that button text instead of schedule a call uh, say workshop right demo or workshop right see now the page url and utm custom we passed here and css selector for the top word and the button text right then just click save here so we already created uh, you know two rules here the utm key and utm value just change this right so just refresh this once you refresh this you see this uh, schedule a workshop right so it automatically appeared here so similar way say for example you want to change this image say i don't want to show this image dynamically say if say anyone visiting the first time you know different uh, ab variations of images you can still go ahead and create a html version of the you can see this just gif right you can select and change but you need to select that html option in this uh, you know section right so yeah this particular section we need to change the html option right so uh, this is actually a very simple way so we are not going to give any load to website or backend right it's all about running from your simple uh, css selector and uh, the image selector and it's all running on your own uh, uh, you know website we are not no need to change anything the backend right now you can pass this utm uh, you know to you are add campaigns and also this will be easily trackable in GA4 as well. Google Analytics 4, you can track the performance of each pages, right? So, and say for example, another thing is, say for example, I want to change and say I'm running certain vernacular campaign or, you know, I'm targeting uh, other countries, right? So what you can do is you just need to same approach, right? So I am going to create different variation here. And here the search engineering page. So instead of UTM, uh, uh, you know, the English. So I want to use the Arabic version of the page because I'm targeting, you know, Middle East countries, say, for example, right? So you can see the copy and, uh, you know, everything is, you know, changed, right? Still, we can add more selectors here and change. So we just added demo purpose, the top fold, how it is changing, everything is. So this will help you to match your quality score and also the user what they are seeing on your ad copy they are seeing on keywords and also they are uh, you know the your landing page also matching right so basically uh, you are connecting everything right so this will improve your ctr improve your conversion rate eventually the you know the quality of the leads will you know. so, right so rest all things uh you know we will fix a demo if required you know you can uh, connect with us we can easily walk you through the platform and the uh, uh, beauty of this tool is you know the load time and everything is actually very simple uh, rule based approach we created right if you have any questions please feel to uh, please feel free to message in the you know uh, comment section we'll connect with you for further discussions thank you